Hello, I'm uh, Mr. White, uh, head of the science department here at Santiago, and I'm here to talk to you about uh, some of the choices you have for classes you can take uh, during the rest of your time here at Santiago. As a freshman, pretty much all of you took biology, but now you have all kinds of choices. So uh, sit back, watch the video, you get a lot of good information, and if you have any questions, make sure you see your science teacher. They'll be able to answer all of them for you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Spivey. I teach zoology here at Santiago High School. We're really lucky to have a zoology lab at this school, which allows the students to learn about a number of different um, animals, including uh, reptiles, small mammals, uh, amphibians, and even invertebrates. And what this allows them to do is they actually do science instead of just having to study it. They get to experience it in a hands-on way. We learn about a number of different groups of animals. Um, through each of those um, different groups of animals, they learn about the anatomy, the physiology, they learn how to classify them, they learn about their habitat, the ecology. In addition to that, there's a number of different uh, research and library projects that the students uh, get to experience, and Mr. Tooney, the librarian, has helped uh, develop those over the years. And so if you're interested in animals and interested in the class, I'd love to see you in zoology next year. Hello, I teach oceanography. Oceanography is a class where we study the physical ocean. So how did we get our water? How did our oceans form? What types of waves and tides and currents are formed? So the physical aspects of oceanography. We also, at the end of the year, do the biologic aspects of the, of the ocean. We usually do a cleanup of one of our rivers here in, in Corona. We also maintain an aquarium so that students can understand the biologic aspect of oceanography. We also look at different types of animals in the ocean and why they live where they live. Hi, my name is Mr. Gilbert and I teach astronomy. I want to invite all of you to take astronomy at Santiago High School. Do you wonder how big the universe is? Uh, do you know that there's a 10th planet in the solar system now? Have you heard about Einstein's theory of relativity and wondered what it's all about? We answer these questions and we have discussions in astronomy class. Uh, it's been approved as a A through G lab requirement class for college. Uh, we start the class talking about uh, gravity and the foundations of astronomy, uh, the force that governs the universe. Uh, we also do uh, space flight. I let students build rockets and we talk about the history of the space program. Get into Einstein's theory of space and time called relativity. The first semester basically prepares students to study the universe. The second semester we start with earth science and then uh, we go to the moon and we talk about stars like the sun and constellations in astrology. Uh, one of the themes throughout the entire class is, is there such a thing as intelligent design or is the universe just random? We talk about the possibility of intelligent life in outer space, aliens and UFOs. Uh, we would like to build our program and uh, you're welcome to take this as an elective, um, but it does meet your physical science requirements. Thank you for your time. Anatomy and Physiology is a course that is recommended for juniors and seniors. This course is all about the human body and how it works. So throughout the year we do mini labs and activities that are focused on your body and you test your own body and its own reactions. We do have a dissection. The main dissection is the cat and we primarily are using the cat to learn muscles, but we also use it for internal organs. This class is um, articulated with Norco College, so we do get college credit for this course if you get an A or B both semesters, and this course is also transferable to other colleges. Hello, this is a course description of the regular environmental science course. It's a G-elective course, which means it doesn't have the pressure and stress of the AP exam or difficult unit exams. It's a project-based class where you're going to be learning how to urban garden, compost, and maintain an aquarium. We're going to be talking about the global issues, uh, how humans affect the environment, and what positive in positive ways and in negative ways. It's a class that also does the cleanups and hikes on Saturdays. My name is Jeff Whitson. I teach AP Biology. Uh, if you're looking for a course to challenge you and to uh, prepare you for college, 
AP Biology is your class. It's uh, highly recommended to take it, whether you're going to be a science major or a non-science major. Um, it's a good class to have to prepare you for college. We do a lot of exciting things. We will uh, maximize your potential to pass the AP test, and we always have a great time and a good year. Talk to your friends about the class, and we'll hope to see you next year. AP Chemistry is a challenging and fun course that will stretch you and help you grow and get you ready for college, whether you're going to be a science major or not. One of the great advantages of AP Chemistry is it's going to sharpen your thinking skills and analytical skills, and you can transfer those to many areas. If you're considering a medical field in college, this is a no-brainer. You must take AP Chemistry if you plan on going to medical or dental or veterinary school. Otherwise, you'll be competing with students in college who have taken it, and your first science course in college is chemistry. So, no-brainer for you. I have had music majors take this class and do very well. It does distinguish them when they're applying for college applications. If you have not already received this form in your classes, perhaps you're a senior and not or a junior and not currently taking chemistry or something, you can stop by my room. It further describes the class with some questions on the end. I have another one here for you like that. And also if you're interested in being a lab assistant for our very specialized program, I have information there that you can come by and pick up in room D116. AP Environmental Science is a class that helps prepare you for the AP exam so that you can pass that. Things that we cover are we kind of look at the global situation of the world and how do humans interact with that. What kinds of ways do we cause pollution and what does that do with our health? How do we use resources and how does that help in making our lives better but at the same time having a cost in causing some pollution issues. Some of the key things that we do is in the urban garden, we do composting, and we maintain an aquarium. We also do a water cleanup, and we do a Saturday hikes in second semester. AP Physics 2 is for juniors and seniors. Prerequisite is AP Physics 1. Um, you should be currently taking, concurrently taking pre-calculus. It is algebra-based with, with a little bit of trigonometry. Covers electricity, magnetism, thermodynamics, atomic and nuclear physics. Um, we give this uh, for students who are non-science majors, who will be non-science majors, and who would like to major in astronomy, architecture, chemistry, computer science, software engineering, engineering and industrial management. And once again, for all the other majors that you could do with AP Physics 2, you can go on the AP College Board website and check it out. AP Physics C is for juniors and seniors. Um, recommended course is College Prep Physics and Physics 1. Math, uh, you have taken or concurrently taking calculus. It covers mechanics, electricity, and magnetism. Um, we give this courses to students who are planning to major in science and engineering courses, also for pre-med students. Once again, if you have any questions, please refer to your science teacher. They will be able to direct you to the proper class surrounding your goals and interests. Thanks, Sharks. Have a great day. Beep.